If you are someone who is looking for self development, you can definitely go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you understand the video that I am making, and if you feel that they are making any difference in your preparation, then go ahead and feel free to share with your friends and siblings. As I say, knowledge is best used when you are sharing it with others for their benefit as well. So today's topic is on has diagrams. So this topic is related to relations, and this is related to MFCS, DMS, and DMGT. Now we are going to draw some diagrams using the following data. See here the partially ordering a comma b such that a divides b, where it is given the set one comma two comma three four six eight and twelve. So we have to draw the has diagram for this. And the next thing is we have to draw the has diagram for p is equal to one comma two comma three comma four, and less than or equal to be the relation. And the third question here is P is given as 2, 3, 6, 12, 24, 36 and a relation such that X less than or equal to Y if X divides Y. So we have to draw the hash diagram using these following data. The first thing is in the first solution the hash diagram we have to draw with P is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8 and 12. The relation here is ordered pair A, B such that A divides B. See here, what is the relation with this? First, if you take 1 here, so 1 clearly divides 1. A divides B. So 1 clearly divides 1 and 1 clearly divides 2 and 1 clearly divides 3. So talking about 1 here. So 1 clearly divides 4, 1 clearly divides 6, 1 clearly divides 8 and 1 clearly divides 12. Next, coming to 2 here. So... 2 does not divide 3. So 2 divides 4. Clear? And next 2 divides 6. And next 2 divides 8. And next one 2 divides 12. Now it's clear. So coming to 3 here, 3 does not divide 4. So 3 divides 6. 3 doesn't divide 8. 3 divides 12. Clear? And next coming to 4. 4 doesn't divide 6. And 4 divides 8. And see here, 4 even divides 12. Clear? And next one coming to 6. So if you go with 6, 6 doesn't divide 8. 6 divides 12. And coming to 8, 8 doesn't divide 12. See here? And clearly if you observe, 2 also divides 2. 3 also divides 3. 4 divides 4. And here 6 divides 6, 6 divides 12 and here 8 divides 8 and next one is 8 divides 12. Sorry, 8 divides 8 and 12 divides 12, 12 divides 12. So these are all the relations which are made for A divides B. And now we have to draw the hash diagram for this. So here what is P given? So P is given as... 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 6, this is 8 and this is 12. So we have to use all these numbers in order to draw the hash diagram. See here, what is the relation here? So A divides B. So we have to take a relation that A is dividing B. So the first element, the minimum element here is 1. So I am taking 1 here. So next element is 2. So clearly you know that. 1 divides 2. So, if it is satisfying the relation, so you have to make an edge with this. Our next number here is 3. So, where? So, 2 doesn't divide 3. So, you shouldn't make an edge with 3. Our next one, 1 divides 3. So, I am keeping 3 here and making an edge with 1. So, 1 divides 3. Clear? Our next one is I am taking 4. So, where I have to keep 4? So, we have to make a relation that it should divide. A should divide B. So, clearly 2 divides 4. Clear? So, 2 divides 4. So, if it's dividing, so make an edge with this. And next one coming to 6. So, I can't keep 6 here because 4 doesn't divide 6. And therefore, I am making 6 here and making an edge with this 3. So, 1 divides 3 and 1 divides 6. And see here, 2 also divides 6. If you observe this one, 2 also divides 6. And next one, going with 8. See here, 8. So where we have to keep 8, 6 doesn't divide 8. 4 divides 8. And therefore, I am keep making an edge with 8. I am making an edge with 8. 
and next one if you see it is 12 so where we have to keep 12 12 so 6 divides 12 clearly 6 divides 12 and make an edge and 4 also divides an edge clear see here first of all we have to take 1 as a minimum element so the minimal element here is 1 and next we have to go with 2 as 1 is dividing 2 so keep an edge between 1 and 2 and next one coming to 3 here so 2 doesn't divide 3 and therefore I am going to this side that is 1 divides 3 and next one we have to go with 4 so 4 we have to place where we have to place 2 certainly divides 4 and therefore I am making an edge with 2 and 4 and next one coming to 6 here so clearly 3 divides 6 and 2 also divides 6 I am making an edge here and next one coming to 8 here. 8 I am taking here as 2, 4 divides this 8. And next one coming to 12 here. 12 certainly divides 6 and 4 also divides. And therefore I am making a edge like this. So this is how we have to draw. So this is the hash diagram for the given relation. So this is the hash diagram for the relation that is A divides b and this is the set and the second question he, here is draw a hash diagram for p is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and less than or equal to be the relation so we have to take less than or equal to so here it is very clear in the set that it is given p is given as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 clear and what is the relation here the relation here is less than or equal to so less than or equal to be the relation so if i make a relation here equality is also there so one is less than or equal to one and next one if i take one here one equals one one comma one so one is less than two and here one is less than three and the first thing one is less than four and next one going with two here so 2 is greater than 1 and therefore I am leaving 1 here and we have to move forward that is 2 is less than 3 and see here 2 comma 2 also exists. Two, there is equality here 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3 and next one is 2 comma 4 and next one coming with 4, 3 that is 3 comma 3 and see 3 is greater than 1 therefore I am leaving this ordered pair. 3 is greater than 2. I am leaving this. So, we have to take only less than or equal to relation. Therefore, 3 comma 3 and 3 comma this one is 4. And next one here, last one here is 4 comma 4. So, these are all the ordered pairs. And now we have to make a hash diagram for this. So, what is P here? So, P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And what is the relation here? Relation is nothing but less than or equal to. First, the minimum element here is 1. So, clearly it is 1. And the next element here is 2. So, less than or equal to. So, 1 is less than 2. So, 1 is less than 2. I am making an edge here. And next one going with 3. So, here if I take 3 here. So, if I take 3 here. So, 2 is less than 3. 1 is also less than 3. And next one coming to 4. So, I am making an edge with 4. So, this is 4. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is how we have to draw. And clearly, I will show you. And clearly, I will show you here. This will be the hash diagram. The first one is I am taking 1 and making an edge with 2 and making an edge with 3 and making an edge with 4. So, this is the clear cut has diagram for 1 comma 2 comma 3 for the relation less than or equal to. Clear. And the next question here is also very simple. The third question here is. So, P is given as. See here. The third question is given as. P is given as 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma. See here. The third question here is. P is given as 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 12 comma. So, this is 24 comma, this is 36. And what is the relation here? So, x less than or equal to y. So, the relation here is nothing but x less than or equal to y. If x divides y, so there is an, another property which is x divides y. So, here the relation here is x is less than y if x divides y. And this is the set that is 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 
12. And next one we have to see that x should be less than or equal and x should divide y and therefore we have to make a ordered pairs. So what are the ordered pairs here? The ordered pairs here, the relation here will be, see here, if I take 2, so 2 is less than 2 and 2 divides 2. And coming to this one and uh, coming to 2 here, so 2 doesn't divide 3, leave it, 2 divides 6 and 2 is less than, so x less than y. So we have to maintain two relations, that is x should less than or equal to y and x should divide y. So coming to 6, it's okay and coming to 12, it also divides and 2 divides 24 and next one 2 divides 36. In this, if you see, x is less than y and x divides y. And next one coming to 3 here, so 3 certainly divides 3. And see here, 3 divides 6, 3 divides 12, 3 divides 24 and next one 3 divides 36. And next one coming to 6, 6 divides 6 and next one 6 divides 12, 6 divides 24 and next one 6 divides 36. And next one coming to 12 here, 12 certainly divides 12. And next one 12 divides 24 and next one 12 divides 36 also. And coming to 24, clearly 24 divides 24 and 24 doesn't divide 36, leave it. And next one 36 divides 36. So these are all the possibilities that x is less than or equal to y and again x divides y. So these two properties holds for all these ordered pairs. And now we have to draw the hash diagram for this. For drawing an hash diagram, what is P here? So P is given as 2 comma 3 comma 6 comma 12 comma 24 comma 36. As it is very easy if you see the first minimum element here is 2. So here the minimum element I'm, ta I'm taking down and next one 3 I have to take. So I have to take 3. So here 2 is less than 3 clear but 2 doesn't divide 3 and therefore I am taking 3 here. So there is only one property holds that is 2 is less than 3 but 2 doesn't divide 3 and therefore I am not making any edge between 2 and 3 clear and next one I am taking 6 here. So 6 is certainly 2 is less than 6, 3 is less than 6 and 2 divides 6 and 2 divides and 3 divides 6. So here both the properties holds for 6 and therefore this value is 6. So here see x is less than y, 2 is less than 6, 3 is also less than 6. The first property holds and next one 2 divides 6 and 3 also divides 6 and therefore 2 properties holds. Therefore I am making an edge with 2 and 3 with 6. And next one going with 12 here. See here, 12, 6 is less than 12, 2 is less than 12, 3 is less than 12. And certainly 6 divides 12. And therefore x less than y and x divides y. And therefore both the properties holds and therefore I am making an edge with this. And next one coming to 24. See here 24. Clearly 12 is less than 24 and 12 divides 24. And therefore I am writing here 24 and therefore I am making an edge since x is less than y and x divides y and here 36. So here this one is 36 and 12 is less than 36 and 12 divides 36. And this is how we have to draw the hash diagrams as these are so important and so simple if you understand the concept. These are the diagram. So these are the hash diagrams. These are the hash diagrams for the following data. See here, it is so simple that it should hold two properties that is x less than or equal to y and x divides y. And if both the properties holds, we have to make an edge between the two numbers that is 2 is less than 6 and 2 divides 6. 3 is less than 6 and 3 divides 6. Therefore, there is an edge. 6 is less than 12 and 6 divides 12 and therefore there is an edge with this. 12 is less than 24 and 12 divides 24. Therefore, there is an edge here. And 12 is less than 36 and 12 divides 36. And therefore, there is an edge. And these are the hash diagrams. So here, clearly, and I'll be posting 
and i'll be posting so many uh, diagrams in the next video also those are also very important so these are repeatedly asked in the question paper and therefore i ask i request you to practice and definitely share with your friends and siblings so that it will be very beneficial for this channel as well as you and thank you so much you will get a good score if you follow these videos and definitely i'll be uploading in the playlist so look at the playlist definitely it will be very very helpful thank you so much for watching and staying till the end thank you so much